What is up, everybody? Today is Chicago Bears defensive playbook. Nickel 245 odd utilizing three buzz sting press. Now, we are going to run this flipped. Auto flip must be turned off. And on top of that, you need to have a speedy outside linebacker with low agility. All pro 79 or lower. All Madden, ironically, 69 or lower. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and run this flipped three buzz sting press. And we're going to get into gum bunch. Now, starting off for gum bunch, what we're going to do is we are not going to press. Okay. We're going to manually move the slot corner in, spread linebackers, QB contain, making sure Bud Dupree is in a contained assignment. So just kind of gently move him in until he gets into a contain. As soon as he gets into a contain, do not move him any closer. The next part is stand right here and the flats are going to be open. Okay, the flats are going to be open. But you're going to stand right here, engage, disengage, and get dual edge pressure all day long. Even if they block the running back. Speaking of which, block the running back, spread linebackers, manually move him in, contain. Let's see, Bud Dupree is not in contain, so we're going to move him in just a little bit right about there. Take the guy that is on the running back side, okay? In this case, it is Y, and man him up to the running back. This is acting the same exact way as the 146 blitz does. Now, we're going to go ahead and adjust, put Terrell Edmonds into a curl flat, and obviously, you change his own drops accordingly. We're going to stand right over the guard, engage, disengage, and yet again, we get dual edge pressure. Now, Sometimes the man up assignment is gonna go really weird and go all the way around. Sometimes it's gonna shoot straight through the A gap. There's another way we can get this to consistently come through. So again, set this up, all right? Contain, making sure Bud Dupree's in a contain assignment. Otherwise, move him in. Spy, that's another way you can do this. And if you don't wanna man him up, block the running back. And you're gonna send the spy as soon as the ball is snapped. Now, this is where things get really complicated, but we're gonna stand over the guard, snap the ball, push in the right stick, and you see right there, we get dual edge pressure all day, every day. Now, if they go max protect on us, so this is a Mac pro. Again, we are not going to press all DBs. You can individually press them, but do not press. Do not go down wide down on the left stick. Otherwise, it somehow, some way, screws it up. So again, move this guy in until he's in a contain assignment. Move him just a little bit more. There we go. QB spy, blitz, bring him down, and obviously adjust accordingly, right? That, that kind of comes down to how well can you adjust and predict. So this is a max pro gum bunch. And as soon as they snap the ball, you're going to do the same exact thing. You're going to go ahead and push in on the right stick to send the spy. And he's right there again, screaming off of the edge. You can get really adjusty with this. You can change things up if they're going into max protect. If you spread linebackers, move this guy in just a hair, keep it contained, hard flat. And we can go ahead and move this guy in. Oops, move this guy in as well and curl flat and just Mabel bunch side and run something kind of like this. Obviously move him in just a little bit more. And do something like this. So then all of a sudden, if they send all oops, all five routes out, we can still somewhat generate pressure. So again, blitz, engage, disengage. And he will get picked up a little more frequently. I don't know why or what causes him to get picked up. I think it's just kind of positioning. But again, he gets picked up probably about 20% of the time. And this is practice mode, okay? Practice mode is really weird how it works compared to in-game. But it's a super simple blitz. You can get dual edge pressure off of it if they block their running back. If they go max protect, you're guaranteed to get somebody off of the edge every single time. So if you guys are new to the channel, be sure you hit that sub button. Again, keep in mind, this is practice mode. And practice mode is really weird with what does and doesn't work. Kind of one of the more annoying things of practice mode. But anyways, we will see you guys in the next Blitz video. I'm a heavyweight. I'm a heavyweight